opening like that. What well, now? You sweating yet, Dutch? Of course I'm sweating. We're in some disease-ridden, swampy, Dixie-whistling shithole. <laughs> uh, I meant about what Trelawney said about these bounty hunters. Well, not sweating as such, but maybe a little gentle perspiration. Until we know more, ain't too much harm in wasting good liquor on sweating. So? So? I think you should pay Mr. Trelawney a visit and find out exactly what he knows and who he spoke to. Take Charles with you. Oh, the sight of the pair of you would make a statue sing out its secrets. Okay. Charles, I need you for some business in town. Come on. Okay. wants us to have a talk with Trelawney about these bounty hunters who are coming for us. Hoping he can tell us who they are or where they're coming from. Okay. And you're deputies now. <laughs> Something like that. Soon as we laid eyes on that fool of a sheriff who runs that town, I knew Dutch was gonna play him like a fiddle. On the run from one bunch of lawmen, Boy, working for another. Interesting. Hiding in plain sight, Dutch calls it. Hmm. <laughs> so, spirits seem good. In the new camp, I mean. We got some space between us and that mess now. Ain't seen no more Pinkertons for a while. There's these bounty hunters, of course, but Dutch don't seem too worried about it. Can't believe they're still coming after us. We didn't even get away with the money. Yeah, but they don't know that. Of course. Trelawney. I've only met him a couple times, but he's... he's a strange one. Fear not. He's just a cockroach in fancy britches. But he gets into nooks and crannies the rest of us can't. Reckon it's that one with the fire outside. Let's take a look. Someone got here first. So it seems. By the looks. Call. Check the house. There's some blood here. That ain't good. This food's barely touched. Looks like he left in a hurry. Found anything? Bed's not made. 
So he must have been here recently. I'd say, mm. look, guess maybe uh, tracks. 12 hours ago. Body? Not yet. They went down the path here. What's your tracking these days? All right, I guess. Hm. Well. Lead the way then. Not the kind of place I'd expect to see you. Staying in. No? Normally scams himself into the best hotel in town. You know, when me and Javier went down with Trelawney to get Sean after the bar fight, I swear, he talked the whole way and never actually said a damn thing. I thought you knew. That's his special talent. They could be 20 miles away by now. We can track them that far if we need to. Depends on how much you want to find them. Yeah. I still ain't sure about that. Hey, look. They continue on the other side of the tracks. Hold! Yes! Huh. They seem to have... ...the forest now. Hey, look. Let's go see what those fellas have to say. Arthur, where are you going? Excuse me. Yeah. Have you seen him? <clears throat> we're, uh, we're looking for our friend. I don't think he's here. Ah, <laughs> uh, you seen a strange sort of feller? Sort of formal? Strange? Sure. Formal? Nah. He uses a cane. Looks a lot like this one. Yeah. All right, you two. Where the hell is he? We both better get out of here. Come here. You are. <laughs> <laughs> It's Trelawney. I don't know anything. Tell me where he is. You go to hell. You better tell me now, you son of a bitch. Okay. Okay, for Christ's sake. They took him to a cabin over by the cornfields. Which cornfields? Left. Down the path there by Braithwaite Manor. Let me see you again, you hear me? You got lucky there, my friend. Come on, let's go. Follow me. I think there's a way around so we don't have to go through the Braithwaite's place. Yes. I've spent enough time there. After you, then. You okay? I'm good. What do you think they want with Trelawney? Could be any one of a hundred things. Just depends if any of them involve us. You think he'll talk? Of course he'll talk. He'd sell his own sister to save a train fare. He don't know how not to talk. He don't know where we're holed up, though. At least I don't think he does. I don't know why Dutch still deals with him. Always disappearing for weeks on end. He's got his uses, and, well, loyalty matters to Dutch. Of course. But is Trelawney loyal? Yeah, kind of. I guess Trelawney ain't exactly disloyal. Just got a big mouth. Don't worry. If he talked, I'll goddamn find out what he said.
What the hell? Ah! What is it with you and horses? We need to get there. Come on. Yeah. Come on. We gotta stick together. Cornfields. That must be it. Is, after that attack, oh. this will be remembered like a good time. Put the man down, gentlemen. Is that the lot of them? I, I think so. Uh, so I, you're uh, alive. Allegedly. Well, don't worry, they won't be for much longer. Look, go get them, Arthur. I can handle this. Sons of bitches! They've gone into the cornfield. We need to flush them out. Till I find you. They're gonna get away. Let's find them. Look at the bird. Go that way. Damn these sons of bitches. His gear. Look around. He can't have gone far.
Keep looking, Arthur. He must be close. He's mine! Let me take him. Let me get out of here. You have my friend. He's not your friend. I'll give you money. Come on. You should have taken the money. I know. I'm a fool. Oh, shit. Thank you. Of course. You okay? Yeah. I'm fine. Shots are coming from that barn. Come on. Let's go back for Tron. You all right? Yeah. Never goes easy, does it? Sure don't. Come on. Let's go see how badly they beat up the slippery feller. I wonder how much trouble he's brought with them. Uh, <laughs> guess we'll soon find out. Seems like we can't catch a break now, Arthur. Our luck's held this long. We got out of worse scrapes than this one. So I heard. <laughs> sure. What's government agents and bounty hunters to us? Uh, I hope you're right. Mr. Trelawney, where are you? Over here, dear boy. Well, he's still here, at least. Put your feet up, why don't you? You okay? You? Never finer. So, who was they? Uh, they were bounty hunters. Uh, attached to Cole Stoudemire. Okay. They weren't looking for me, per no. se. What you tell them? Not much. I told them I was an intellectual. Come down here from Oregon, looking for a job at the university. Of course, they didn't believe me. Seems you stirred up quite a hornet's nest in Blackwater. So I keep here. It might be best if I stay with you gentlemen for a while. Can't go back to that caravan now. All right, Charles, you take Trelawney back to camp. I'll catch up with you. Okay. There always seems to be more, more and more civilization. I want to get back in the open country of the West, or what's left of it, but well, even that ain't the way I remember it. All this Lemoyne air is free for you? Not a smart move to travel alone in these parts, especially looking like you. Don't want any trouble. Just passing through. 
You look like you might need a few smacks to set you straight. Be smart and keep dumb, okay? Can I help you there? Sure. We're supposed to be my business partners here. They arranged a meeting, I believe, about some horses. A fellow with a scar and a Mexican? Yes, sir. Out by the stables. Thank you. Have a wonderful day now. And you're helping everybody. And everywhere, there's troubles. And have you met my partner, Arthur Morgan? No. I met your son, the sheriff. Okay. Mr. Gray here was saying how he had problems with a family. A family of degenerates. Oh, well, nobody likes degenerates. The hag and her inbred sons. They ruined this county. They killed my uncle, you know. That ain't right. Problem is, we can't be seen to get too close. And? We've got gold, Yankee. We've got gold. I ain't no Yankee, friend. I ain't nothing. My daddy came over on the boat from Scotland. I'm Scottish. And the Braithwaites? Goddamn peasants. I don't know. Mongrels. Slave fuckers. All you gotta do is look at them. How much gold? Enough. These are prized horses I'm talking about. Them, they'll get you 5,000. 5,000 for horses? Easy. And where do we sell them, these $5,000 horses? Over in Clemens Cove. Fell over there, we'll run them out of state and give you 50 cents on the dollar. Mister, you got yourself a deal. Just keep us away from this. Publicly, I mean. My sense is we keep all horse wrestling away from the public. Go to the stables on the south side of the manor. That's where they keep the thoroughbred. See the Braithwaite woman. Jose and Sean were planning on going over to the Braithwaites. You haven't seen them? No, not yet. If they're there already, they better keep their heads down. You don't need this to be any more complicated than it already is. Five thousand dollars for horses. We've been robbing the wrong folk all these years. Yeah. He doesn't know what he's talking about. But get even a third of that, it'll be worth it. So how are we gonna play this? The place is well guarded, so there ain't no point in blasting in there. We'll make them think we're there looking to purchase. Three armed men? You'd be armed if you were about to spend 5,000 on horses. We should go in the back way, though. Avoid too many questions. There's a 
guard. I'll speak to him, okay? <sighs> All right, then. Can I help you, gentlemen? Yeah, we're here to see about some horses. Horses? Yeah, we had a, an appointment with Mr. Braithwaite, I believe. Yeah, I never heard about any of this. Our partner wanted to make a significant investment in some stables down here. <sighs> but perhaps we should look elsewhere. Well, I... Okay, then. But head on up to the stables. Someone will come see you. That's it. Nice and easy. No need to rush. Don't want to draw any unnecessary attention. I think that's the stables just up ahead. Heads down, play cool. Head around the front, hitch up there. All right, let's hitch up here. Let me do the talking. you boys I hope so heard you got some horses we always got horses fine horses I mean I don't get you friend yeah you do come on listen why don't you get out of here you scarface and your greaser buddy whoa I don't like officials we ain't officials we're connoisseurs looking to do some breedings come on now partner okay fine follow me these here's mainly the studs available for purchase or for working that's what you're interested in what is your boys interested in we represent a famous uh, stable and stud farm from uh, saratoga is that so unofficially of course well, this here's cerberus here you go boy cerberus is a real reliable stud fathered many a race winner a hot greaser huh okay Bandana's on. Don't need nobody re recognizing us. All right, I'll grab the white one in the middle. You get the other two. Relax, boy. Come on. Good boy. Whoa, easy. Now. easy. <laughs> Marston, you're gonna tether him up to Javier's horse. Okay. Javier, you're gonna lead the stallions. Okay, boy. <laughs> Marston, you right point. I'll cover up the back. If there's any problems, we regroup at Clemens Cove. Okay. What are you doing? Let's go, quick! Go, get out of here. I got the back. What the hell are you doing? Stop! Stop! Look at these men! Stop!
cove quick before we run into any more trouble. Whoa! You okay there, boy? Shit! One of the stallions is loose! Keep going! I'll get him! Yeah. Come here! Just over there, come on. Let's get this over with. Well, that could have gone smoother. That'll be on my gravestone. Hey, now. You think they look like they're paying 5,000 for horses? I guess we'll see. What you boys want? Heard you was, uh, heard you paid good prices for horses. Oh, we'll buy more or less anything, Pop. That so? Sure, Pop. I'm Clay Davies. That's my brother Clive. We're twins. John, Arthur, Javier. <clears throat> so what are you, Cuban? No, I don't like Cubans. That so? Maybe. Why, what do you care? You ain't Cuban. Maybe I like Cubans. <laughs> Ooh, you're funny. He's funny. Ain't he funny, Clive? Clive don't talk. We're twins, but I was born first. He came out all yellow and black, but he's okay. Ah. Sure. Yeah, I know these horses. They, they ain't yours. But I like you, and I'll give you... I can give you 654. Okay. <laughs> I was told we could get up to $5,000 for them. And I was told the moon was made of ladies' tears. Only it ain't true. Not one little bit. But... I like you boys. But I ain't got more than 700 on me. You want it, or you want to ride them fellers into town, and maybe someone there will hang you. We're gonna need more than that. I ain't got no more money, Pop. Here, take it or leave it. Uh-huh. All right. You goddamn fool, Marston. Ain't no one around here got $5,000, boys, but nice meeting you. <laughs> See you boys again, I hope. Come on. Yeah. Close the gate, Clive. Believe the yarn spun us by one of that Gray family. Imagined we was going to be wonderfully rich. <sighs> At the end of it, we felt like prize idiots. What is it? I think you misunderstood me earlier. I ain't trying to rob you. You know me better than that. What are you trying to do, Micah? Save you. Save everybody. You know me. 
I'll go back to Blackwater and get the money. Arthur! Meet you all someplace and we'll be home free. That's it. Just think about it. That's all I'm saying. The way I see it, we gotta try. Arthur, don't forget, I'm more than happy to craft you something if you bring me the right materials. Thank you. Here. I'll do whatever you say. Always. I reckon I need to get my hands on some materials. My table awaits your offerings, Mr. Morgan. Yeah, I will. Sure. Might as well make some money off it. Can't wait to taste this. Don't you overcook this now, Pierce. Thank you, Arthur. Are you busy, Arthur?
know you think I'm just some effete buffoon. What? A man of words and not of action. Hardly a man at all. Well, I think you're as slippery as an eel in an oil slick, but still a man. Because I think I've... I've found something interesting. Yeah? Have you ever robbed a stagecoach? No, never. Well, who would have even thought? Of course I robbed a goddamn stagecoach. You know I have. And what's the problem with stagecoaches? The armed man attempting to put a bullet in your head? Not quite. The odds. I mean, is it worth the robbing? Sometimes. I know. But, well, if you'd like to come with me, I can introduce you to a new best friend, and he's he's going to give you all the decent, robbable stagecoaches a hot-blooded degenerate could require. Well, I could require a whole lot. So where do we find... So where do we find this friend of yours? Roads. Because what can possibly go wrong there? Well, lead the way and we'll find out. You sure seem to have got about around here. You know me. I like to make friends in low places. How the hell you end up down here anyway? I could ask the same of you. I have a few commitments over this way. Some expenses to meet. Expenses? What expenses? Gentlemen's canes and rabbits to pull out of hats? Among other things, I had quite a nice little business going for a while. Shares in a gold mining company. Excellent returns for the investor of a certain financial standing. Until, well, that unfortunate run-in with the law. Yeah, that's how it goes. Thanks for disappearing on us during that Sean business, by the way. I'd done my part. Each to their strengths, dear boy. You know, you boys should really watch yourselves with those two families. This is a small town. People talk. I tried to mention it to Osea, but you know how he is. Anyway, while they're off chasing their pot of Confederate gold hidden at the end of some rainbow, are you going to stick with me, Arthur? Here we are. We can hitch up outside. I'll make the introductions, Arthur. Hey there! Keep your asses back to work, you hear? Come on, hang back a bit and let me do the talking. We don't want to scare him off. Uh, I ain't complaining. I heard some screams from the basement of the gunsmith earlier. Hello, Alden. <gasps> Hello, Josiah. How have you been? Dandy. And you, friend? Uh, like I said, times are tough. My missus is a bad woman. Terrible woman. They often are. But how's work, Alden? Terrible. Wages got cut again. They reckon they just invented a new horse's carriage will be the end of us. <laughs> They've been saying that nonsense since they invented the wheel. The wickedness of bosses. I know. My comrades here and I are greatly discouraged from the adequate fulfillment of our duty. A discouraged man is no man at all, Alden. No man at all. My friend Arthur here has a present for you. Ain't you kind, sir? Call him Arthur. He's one of us, a fellow man of distinction. Okay. Well, this is perfect timing. I think you'll like this one, Josiah. 
It'll be coming south down the river road through Siltwater Strand. Thank you, Alden. Thank you very much. Oh, and Josiah, if you or Arthur are ever out Strawberry Way, ask for my colleague there. Feller called Hector. He's also one of the, what did you call us again? Discouraged men, Alden. That's it, discouraged men. I like that. Well, goodbye, Alden, or should I say, adieu. Oh, adieu, Josiah. What the hell was that? I thought you might like to see that pantomime. River Road through Siltwater Strand, he said. Okay. I think I know a good spot to wait. Follow me. You want not pay? Get back to work. <laughs> okay, let's go. This way. Ha! Simple as can be. Seems a lot of the station workers are in on it these days. Earning a pittance, the unions are whipping them up, so they want something on the side. Like he said, there, strawberry. Could create a lot of opportunities for a man in your line of work. I ain't sure about going back to strawberry after all that market business. Didn't sound like you left anyone alive to recognize you, so I wouldn't worry too much, dear boy. All this trouble, you gentlemen are becoming quite the celebrities, aren't you? Soon you'll be on the front of a dime novel. And dead, of course. We're hoping to be long gone before that. Dutch has a plan. If anything goes wrong, let's meet back here at this crossroad, okay? All right. This is the spot. Okay, this should do. Sure. Here. I'm hoping we won't need those. Uh, better safe than sorry. So what were you thinking? Well, according to this, the loot is located in a strong box, which is in the back. I'll put on a little performance, and you can scurry around, open the strong box, and relieve them of their goodies. And how do I open the strong box without threatening someone to open it for me? This should work. <laughs> and I can do this silently? Well, I'm hoping complete silence won't be necessary. But you're going to wish you had your earplugs. This is Damson. Oh, very good, Alden, very good. Of course, if anything goes wrong, you can wave your guns around like you normally do. Hold tight. They'll be here soon. There it is. Right on time. Let's go. Keep your distance so they don't see you. And please leave that gun in its holster for once. I'll ride ahead and get the coach to stop. Hang back. Don't let them spot you or you'll scupper the whole thing. No, 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 it's a small benefit to the opera. Blackwater. Just that. Mrs. Chester Damson. I flatter. Nobody. Stop the coach, my good man! Stop the coach! Your audience, they were rather cruel. We 
Yorkers are principal fools who believe Westerners don't know anything about culture. I couldn't agree more. <laughs> Could you? It's, it's such a small show, but... Would you see me something? Why do I bother? Yeah! Let's go, girl. Yeah. so much cleaner but there we go well that didn't go exactly according to plan how did we do well aside from all the shooting and getting shot at we did fine here thank you well now go see Alden from time to time let's hope it goes a little smoother next time we always hope that Arthur see you soon
Makes you a hard case? Huh? All right! Glad to be out of there. Guess we about even. You stay out of the morning. <laughs> Can I talk to you for a Hello, minute? Hello, Arthur. Sure. <laughs> They'll never allow that. Why not? Because if we can vote, then folks, and by folk, I mean men, will have to hear about how awful we got. It. Awful? Yes, kid. You got a lot on? Ah, uh, just hunting for all this hillbilly gold that Dutch and Hosea seem to think is... Out there, just waiting to be stolen. <laughs> Why? I got something. Could be good. Yeah? Yeah, I was in Rhodes talking to some of the colored folk. They said there's a gang of fools holed up in the swamps east of here who think their war ain't never ended. The Civil War? Yeah, apparently it's still raging in these fools' minds 30 years later. Okay. That ain't my point. These ignorant fools are weapon dealers. And in their dealings, sometimes sit on a decent pile of cash. Yeah, been selling weapons to Cuba and South America for years. Anyway, the old boy I was talking to reckoned there might be a bunch of cash just sitting around. And failing that, maybe a nice stash of weapons. With just a bunch of crazies, Gardner? Exactly. Well, worth taking a look at least, isn't it? That was my thinking. Said it was at some place called Shady Bear, deep in the woods. Okay. I was hoping you'd be in. If it's how they told it, it's gonna be something all right. We'll see. Come on, it's this way, on me. Yeah. You know, I might have met these crazies before. 
You've been drinking again? No. Well, yes, but no, that's not how I might have met them. I think some of them harangued me and Sadie when we were coming back with supplies. Mrs. Adler? Yeah. And Mrs. Adler did just fine. More than fine, actually. She's terrifying. But I got a notion these fellers is one and the same. Yeah, we won't find no shortage of angry Peckerwood idiots in the state of Lemoyne. That's for sure. Is it really that different in this state? We haven't come far. It seems like it is. These boys got a manner about them, but I haven't necessarily noticed. All respect, Mr. Morgan. You wouldn't notice. Might call you a nigger lover. They see us riding like this. But most of it is a, a glance or a word. And after that, a visit in the night. Well, out west is... Out west is out west. And you're all who you are. Right? Decent folks. But some places down here, they judge differently. Well, no. Guess it can't be so easy for you, Lenny. I'm sorry you're caught up in this. Well, I guess their gold's still shiny. And their guns still shoot. <laughs> so I'm game for robbing any and every one of these bastards for all they got. <laughs> okay, then. Plus... It beats being lynched back in Blackwater with all of you by my side. I guess it does. Yep! Feels like we're close. It's a rundown old plantation house down in the bayou somewhere. Let's take it slow. Be cautious. If, like you say, these crazies are sitting on weapons, we're gonna wanna strategize a little before getting shot at. <laughs> of course. They said find the old battlefield and keep on going. Yeah, I've been here before. I can see the wrecked old Civil War weaponry. Where are the wrecked old Civil War holdouts? See that church up ahead? They're supposed to use it as an outpost. Heard they got men going between here and the big house all day. Okay. Look at this field. <laughs> Imagine getting caught up in a fight like this. Yeah, I don't care to. Hold those reins in. Let's just take a look around the place. I hear you. Uh, it doesn't look like anyone's here. We don't know that for sure. Let's have us a nosy. Hey, you see something? Why are you stopping? Hear that? Someone's on the track. Look there, the wagon. Let's see where he's going. You're on me now. Right behind you. Let's keep our distance. Just two fellers out on the road. Hey. That looked like dynamite in the back there? It looks like we're on to something. I think I see something. End of the avenue, between the trees. Might be it. Might be. Keep it steady. Hey, big plantation house. <laughs> Must be Shady Bear. I reckon we can leave our mounts up there, off the trail. Good enough to me. I 
Are you coming? Come on. We can get a view on them from that wall up there. Bring your sighted rifle, okay? I'll take the other side. You get in cover there. See anything? Yes. Yes. They're here, all right. And they're armed. Almost a militia. They got men everywhere. Off near the porch. Down by the road. We'd do well to draw them into one spot if we're gonna make a pass at this. What else? Hey. You might want to look over to the right. All right, some tents. Look over to the left. I know dynamite crates when I see them. You got something, right? Oh, we got something. We can hit them head on, fight them honest. Or you could go down there acting friendly. Friendly? With these folks? Just draw them into one spot, then I'll start shooting. Well, that might be the dumbest idea I've ever heard. But hey, I'm always up for a performance. You're gonna... We're gonna hit them head on. You save your play acting for Jose and the girls. <laughs> Prepare for your guns and your money. Give them up. Whoa, there it goes.
Any men in the area would have heard that. They might be on the way. Now let's grab something and get out. Sounds like a plan. This could be promised. Here. Come on. This is full of new rifles. We sure can. We'll check the rest later. Now, come on. Let's go. Let's go, let's go. Get this back to camp. Yep. Yep. We need to get these back. Come on. G up. Fall in. Let's see how fast they run. Right. Coming our way. Keep it together. Hey! Stop! What's a black feller doing coming out of Shady Bell? In one of our wagons. We was, uh, doing some business with your brothers back there. You don't look like any kind of folk we deal with. Our business was conducted to the satisfaction of all parties. Until now, that is. Nope. No. Something don't feel right about this. Not him and not you neither, Yankee. Get these lines... Let's go, let's go. Get this back to camp. Yep. Yeah. Easy there. We need to get these back. Come on. G up. Fall in. Boy, you ain't shot with the wind. Hey, riders. Coming our way. Okay. Keep a cool head. Black feller did I'm coming out of Shady Bell. Yep. Leonard, Leonard, Leonard. I'm looking, all right? I can't see anyone chasing us. I should think we're out of the woods then, so to speak. <laughs> uh, boy, oh boy. <laughs> You did good. <laughs> we did it. Well, let's get to camp before saying anything like that. I know Sean's been bringing in quite a lot lately, and I wanted to... <sighs> it's good to have something to show like this. Sean's a loudmouth bragger. Don't worry about what Sean does. Hey, I like him, you know? Well, so do I. I guess my better judgment. Just you worry about you. He wasn't on the Viticus Cornwall's train with me. We had to dig him out of Blackboard. But... Yeah, no, but nothing. Me and Dutch, and everyone who counts, we know what you do for this gang. We notice. Keep it up. You're gonna start seeing things change for you. Okay, then. Okay. Thank you, Arthur. Yep. in these trees up here. Let's get there. Arthur, Lenny, coming back.
These are fine rifles. Right? I'm gonna keep one, just for me. Hey, I always enjoy riding with you, kid. <laughs> you know how to fight. Hey, you too. Anytime, Arthur. Come on, girl. Yeah. No, 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 please don't go, please don't go. I did for my friend, Dan. I, I saw my leg. It eaten by a dog after it got blown off. So don't you blame me nothing but your goddamn war. This race is far now. No. Oh, I remember you. What can I do for you, huh? That gun seems to be well taken care of. I can put some sights on that if you're interested. That's more like it. Oh. 
Always good to have a full stock on ammunition. I'm quite skilled in customization. Make your munitions yours. Weapons only as good as its stock. Got some fine ones cut just for it. You'll appreciate the improvement. Make sure you got enough rounds for it. Thank you. Okay, girl. Hey fellas, I have a meeting with Mrs. Braithwaite. My associates are already here. All right, that's enough. Move along now. This way, sir. A gentleman to see you, ma'am. So, your friend, the other liquor vendor. Hello. Hello, ma'am. Uh, Arthur, welcome. We were just playing cribbage. Arthur Morgan, Mrs. Catherine Braithwaite. Nice to see you again. Apparently. So this one, he is big and as dumb as he looks? <laughs> well, he's surely big. But his intelligence is a matter of some conjecture. Some say he is as dumb as he looks, but I think, well, he's not quite that dumb. So these are the boys going to Caliger Hall? Yes, we can take care of that for you, but one hates to be coarse. There is the question of money. <laughs> oh, we've got money, Mr. Matthews. Paper, bonds, metal. <laughs> she ain't gonna pay you in a certified check, you Yankee numbskull. Ain't childbirth just the most beautiful miracle on earth? Seems a lady can birth monkeys, after all. Can I drive? No. Everything I had, that son of hers. I'll shove that silver spoon down his throat and pull it clean out of his ass. A smug fucker. Okay. So what she got us doing at the Gray's place? She wants us to torture tobacco fields that they ain't had rain in weeks round here. What? Yep. Using that back there. The moonshine? Born's faster than kerosene, that stuff. Said it'd be fitting, she did. Not I'm thinking is how about I toy fitting my boot up your hook. No, just snotty old bitch. <laughs> Jose really picked the right fella for tea at the manor, didn't he? Ah, oh, he was giving his usual flannel. 
One of these families got gold stashed somewhere, he reckons. I mean, what about for sticking it to rich folks? I hate rich folks. They really bear me some bloody money at the end of all this. Jose knows what he's doing. Does he, though? The master finagler of nothing. Easy, easy. So far, we've destroyed the Braithwaite still, tried to sell the shine back to them. Now we're on this fool's errand, which I'm very much looking forward to, by the way. They were saying old man Gray's double security after that business at the saloon. We just robbed their horses, too. That was you? Jesus. So, we're just gonna drive on in there, is that it? Don't worry, I got a plan. Wagons go in and out of there all the time with supplies, equipment, payroll. Especially now they've taken on all that extra muscle. We're making a delivery, that's all. Just leave it to me. I can talk a dog off a meat wagon. <laughs> All right, then. Yeah. about them greys, English. Excuse me? You not worried about them greys. In what sense? Well, they know you. Yeah, maybe you're right. You know what? Here, I'll go hide and back. If you can act naturally and stop us from getting into a fight before we're ready. I will try. Yes. Try and do an impression of a human being. I'm not going to go that far. <laughs> Site. I'll do the talk. Hey, hold it right there. What you want, boy? I've, uh, I've, there, there was a thing, a, a, a thing, at the saloon. What you talking about? Well, I'm delivering the supplies. You're not the usual driver. Uh, you want a bottle, friend? Here. Uh, uh, have a wee drop. <laughs> I'm new. I, I mean you no harm. Uh, I, I've come from Donegal in, in Ireland. You don't say. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they said you'd understand. Uh, some kind of incident at the saloon in town. I, I was told to bring this up here. Ask no questions, I'll tell you no lies. Uh, sort of business. Uh, 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 before the officials got there, okay. they said. Okay. Drive this way. I'll show you how to get there. Oh, thank you, friend. Uh, have a drink, Sean. <coughs> Hamish. Good to meet you, Hamish. <laughs> uh, fine bit of country you've got here. Uh, not as fine as Connemara, but fine nonetheless. My people come from Scotland. Is that right? Then you and I are nearly brothers. <laughs> <laughs> Just over here. Yeah, it's straight down the path here. It's getting so I can barely keep track of all these deliveries coming in. Yeah, 
When they said they was looking for more drivers in town, I jumped at the chance. I never been a feller to kick a bit of honest work out of bed. <laughs> so, you folks been having a hard time of it, have you? Yeah, Mr. Gray's got a heap of problems right now with another family around here. A bunch of covetous lowdowns trying to sabotage his livelihood. Disgusting. Oh dear, oh dear. I'm sorry to hear that, Hamish. Sounds like you definitely deserve that drink. <laughs> you don't know the half. Just in there. Ah, right you are. <laughs> you can unload it here. In here? Oh, <laughs> the horse is like a, a swift one, <clears throat> do they? <laughs> Excuse me? Um, nothing. It's grand. <sighs> <clears throat> uh, quite a place you yeah. boys have got here. <laughs> Reminds me of one of them big houses there, uh, out in Donegal. Huh. Real fancy places they was, Hamish. Real fancy. Because if some folks got all the money, they can build quite the fanciest places imaginable, eh? Mm. Bridge man, sups on shite, yeah? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> How you getting on? Good. Nearly got these things ready. Okay. There's plenty of guards out there. Here's how I feel we should deal with things. You head over to the dry barn. Sure. And you? I'm gonna deal with the fields themselves. We coat everything in moonshine, and then we light things up with these little fellers here. Thankfully, it ain't rained, and that old barn over there should go up like a torch. <laughs> How many of these boys you think you need? They should do it. <laughs> Let's head out the back. Look, once they get wind of us, There'll be no turning back, so move quickly. Of course. I'm rebel stock, boy. I was born burning down manor houses. We'll burn quietly. Quiet. There's someone coming on the left. wagon already arrived. This one didn't. Strange. So, what you got there? Tools, payroll. Okay. Drop it by the supply shed at the back of the fields. Sure. See you later. You hear that? Payroll. Yeah. Let's get this job done first, okay? We'll take care of this fella. You douse the fields, I'll meet you at the barn. Try to stay out of trouble.
that should do it. I'm gonna douse this too. Think she'll go, Arthur? Light her up! Are you so? Go on then. Woohoo! Would you look at that? Haha! <laughs> now let's go light ourselves a fat cigar. I got the right head! I'll deal with these fellas. Company, look out!
turn into a right party. You call that a party? That break weight had got our money's worth, all right? Let's just get out of here first. Dead. Quite a night. Sure. Interesting little fight Duchess put us into the middle of here. Uh, I hope him and Jose are right and that there's some money at the end of it. Well, what now? Head on back to camp. You coming? Sure. Sweet home. You let Jose know how we got on. <laughs> 